Hello everybody. In today's class, let us learn about omission of the article. In our previous classes, we learned the use of definite article and the use of indefinite articles. Now, you should also learn the omission of the article. That means, in which context you have to avoid using an article. Remember, by listening to your language and the usage of your articles, the other person will estimate how well you are speaking. So be very careful regarding the usage of uh, articles. Please subscribe to my channel, watch this video till the end, share it to your friends and ask your friends also to subscribe. Come to the topic. Omission of the articles, where we have to avoid using an article. Before names of substances, abstract nouns and metals, you should not use article in front of these words. For example, sugar is sweet. So you are generalizing sugar. So when you generalize a word, you need not use the definite article there. And this is the, a substance. And in front of metal also we will come to know. Sugar is sweet. Without article you have to use. And coming to a metal. Gold is a precious metal. It is not the gold, just gold. Wisdom is a gift. Without article. Now let me tell you one small thing. These words sometimes appear with article also. For example, sugar. The sugar also is seen sometimes. I'll tell you the text. The sugar which you lent me yesterday was uh, not clean. What did I say? The sugar which you lent me yesterday was not clean. I'm speaking about a particular thing. There I can use sugar, but here it is generalized. Gold is a precious metal. It is generalized. The gold which was given by my parents. Was that? The gold which was given by my parents. There I am using the gold because I am particularly speaking about uh, uh, that which is given by my parents. Wisdom is a gift. Then, before plural nouns. Plural nouns. Students like this movie. Students in general means everybody. That's the meaning. So when you mean to say that this refers to everybody, you need not use the students like this movie. What is the problem if you use the here? The students like this movie if you say grammatically it is right. But the meaning is this one. You are speaking about a group of students in an organization. You are speaking about them. There you can say the students, means the students of so and so college, the students of so and so school, you can say that. But here students is generalized. Buses do not fly during the lockdown period. Buses, which buses? Yeah, any bus, in general buses. I can say buses with the article, when I, when I mean to say particular, the buses which are going from Rajamandri to Hyderabad are... Uh, comfortable to go. The buses which are going from Rajamandri to Hyderabad are comfortable to go. There I am using the because I am speaking about a particular group of buses. Then, it is a must for all teachers. It is a must for all teachers. I am speaking about the teachers. All teachers means teachers in general. Teachers uh, in uh, any district, any mandal, any group, in general, when you use, you should not use article. But I can say the teachers. When is that? The teachers of so and so area, the teachers of so and so state, the teachers of so and so country. When you mean to say that, then you can say the teachers. It is a must for all the teachers in India. All the teachers in India. So, India, the teachers in India, I am speaking. So, I can say the. So, particular thing needs a definite article. If it is generalized for plurals, you need not use the. Before names of meals, means we take breakfast, lunch, brunch, dinner. You know, breakfast morning, lunch afternoon. Sometimes, uh, if it is difficult for us to take breakfast and lunch, both of them together maybe at 11 o'clock or something like that we take which is called brunch. It means a breakfast and lunch together we call brunch. 
and a dinner these are meals of a day they do not need the in front of them in general like i am taking breakfast when do you take lunch you are asking a question when do you take lunch there is no article here dinner is ready your mother may tell you all of you come inside dinner is ready so there is no the but there is a context where you can use the breakfast the lunch the dinner that is again particular thing the breakfast which i had yesterday was tasty i'm speaking about yesterday's breakfast the breakfast which i had yesterday was tasty the lunch which i took in your house was delicious the lunch i'm using here the because i'm speaking about particular lunch dinner uh the dinner which i took in your house was good so if you want to uh, particularly say about particular dinner then you can use different article before languages we are learning english remember we are learning the english generally we may feel like using it is wrong we are learning english we speak telugu at home we speak without article telugu you have to say we speak telugu at home before some places when used for their primary purpose there are some workplaces and when they are used for their primary purpose ante work places konni unnai aa place you primary purpose ante service evvadam gurinchi gaani akkadu nunchi service teesukovadam gurinchi gaani udaharanaku oka school undi akkade em service upadhyayalu teaching cheyadam anadi service evvadu స్టూడెంట్స్ ఉన్నారు వాళ్ళు ఏం చేస్తారు సర్వీస్ తీసుకుంటారు ఈ విధంగా ఈ రెండు వర్క్స్ జరిగేటటువంటి వర్క్ ప్లేసెస్ ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయో వాటిని ఆ ప్రైమరీ పర్పస్ కోసం మాత్రం మాట్లాడినప్పుడు ఆర్టికల్ ఉపయోగించకూడదు లైక్ ఐ గవ్ టు స్కూల్ ఎవ్రీడే నేను ప్రతిరోజు స్కూల్ కి వెళ్తాను ఐ గవ్ టు ద స్కూల్ ఎవ్రీడే వై ఇస్ దట్ రాంగ్ టు సై ఐ గవ్ టు ద స్కూల్ దట్ ఈస్ హియర్ ఐఎమ్ యూజింగ్ ద వర్డ్ స్కూల్ ఫర్ ఇట్స్ ప్రైమరీ పర్పస్ i as a student go to school every day pratiroju school ki evaru veltaru student veltadu enduku veltadu service ni teesukovadaniki veltadu ante primary purpose so i go to school every day raju goes to church every sunday every sunday church is there church is a place where we go and worship and going to church and pray is its primary purpose so raju goes to church every sunday the clock is in office actually where does the clock work in an office and office is uh, uh, the place where he gives his service it is primary purpose so the clock is in office there are some words of school college university church hospital prison these are all some places where we need not use article in front of them when they are used for their primary purpose i can say this is school with article also i go to school every day in the sentence i can use the word school with article my father came to the school to pay fee my father came to the school my father came to the school why does he why did he come my father came to pay fee fees kattadaniki vachadu kaani akkada edo service ivadaniko service teesukovadaniko general primary purpose ni serve cheyadaniki raaledu kabatti my father came to the school every day and chapuch raju goes to church every sunday for example the engineer came to the church to uh, check its condition an engineer came to the church the church to check its condition and the church allow undi దాని కండిషన్ చెక్ చేయడానికి ఇంజనీర్ వచ్చాడు అంతేగాని చర్చ్ యొక్క ప్రైమరీ పర్పస్ ని సర్వ్ చేయడానికి ఇంజనీర్ ఎక్కడికి రాలేదు ఆ సందర్భంలో ఇక్కడ ద ఉపయోగించవచ్చు బిఫోర్ నైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ రిలేషన్స్ ఫాదర్ హాస్ కమ్ జస్ట్ నౌ ద ఫాదర్ నో వి డోంట్ సే ద ఫాదర్ హాస్ కమ్ జస్ట్ నౌ ఫాదర్ హాస్ కమ్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ మై ఫాదర్ హాస్ కమ్ జస్ట్ నౌ బ్రదర్ ఈస్ కాలింగ్ యూ యువర్ బ్రదర్ ఈస్ కాలింగ్ యూ ఆర్ మై బ్రదర్ ఈస్ కాలింగ్ ఎనిథింగ్ but it is not the brother is calling you so in front of relations we do not use article then with the words like elected appointed became etc something like this these words do not need article i'll give you examples he was elected 
chairman here there are two things you have to learn he was elected as should not use he was elected as is wrong and he was elected as a chairman this is also wrong so as and a these two words should not be used with elected appointed became it should be plain like this he was elected chairman she was appointed in charge she was appointed as an in charge is a blunder I should not say this he was appointed in charge mr rao became principal it's not Ms. mr rao became the principal without article we have to use now we got the point there are definite articles indefinite articles and there is another context where you should not use articles okka sari mano competitive examinations lo general ga ina hari manu chese endante edo oka article petteyali article kabatti idi edo oka article petteyalane aatrutu toti manu edo oka article insert cheyadaniki try chestam kaani ee third ee moodo amshanni manu gurtinchu entadi omission of article anedi kuda undi asalu article anedi ikkada pettochcha pettakoda ane danni kuda aalochinchi manu ee exercise ni jagratha practice cheyalasundi so practice this thoroughly and then prepare so that you will know where to use articles where not to use articles